Cheyenne Nakfi reporting for NYP News, news from a youth's perspective. So, the sports news of the week is that Australia won the Cricket World Cup. You might not be aware of it, but the Cricket World Cup is actually the third most watched sporting event in the world after the FIFA World Cup and the Olympics. Anyways, congratulations, Australia! It's time! serious news, the World Health Organization issued a very serious statement that in just a decade, one in three people will be nearsighted. That's 2.5 billion people being nearsighted. In China, 1950, only 10 to 20% of people were nearsighted. Now, it's 90%. And in Korea, 96% of 19-year-olds are nearsighted. The scientific name for nearsightedness is myopia. Scientists all over the world are alarmed by the sudden rise in myopic cases. People who are myopic see objects close to them clearly and objects that are far away, those appear blurred. What's the mechanism of myopia? What are its causes? In a normal eye, light rays pass through the lens and meet at the back of the eye, called the retina. When light rays converge earlier before the retina, this causes blurriness, which we call nearsightedness. There are two causes for this. One is an elongated eyeball. Two is a lens which changes shape, causing the light rays to focus before the retina, again causing nearsightedness. What are the causes? One is genetics. How your eyeball is shaped or how strong your lens is. But this does not explain the huge rise in myopic cases. Scientists looked at lots of different factors, including reading too many books to playing excessively on your phone. Scientists found out that the answer is sunlight. People who are exposed to more sunlight are less likely to be myopic. They did a really neat experiment with some chicks. They gave them sunglasses. Imagine those little chicks squawking around wearing sunglasses. Those chicks who wore those sunglasses were more likely to be myopic. So the answer is to go outside. In fact, even if you're outside playing video games, it'll still help. In China, they're trying to make classrooms that are made of glass to expose the students to maximum sunlight. In the meantime, go outside and have some fun. I hope you found this useful. Remember to like, subscribe, and have a great day. Cheyenne Nackley, signing off.